So I think starting off as being authentic and, and truly caring. And, and so some people might say, well, how do you make yourself care about someone? That sounds fake or false. No, you can't. You can actually um, cultivate empathy by learning about the people that are, are part of your team. And um, I, I use this example, but the older I get, the farther away I get from, uh, from the movie that, you know, uh, Remember the Titans. I don't know if you ever saw that movie. Yes. But, it, uh, but well, I remember when it came out. And so now it's, now it's an oldie for folks yeah. like you. But for me, I, I saw it first run. And I always use that as an example because um, Coach Boone, you know, who was played by Denzel Washington, really put a team together of individuals who really did not care about each other. How can you have a football team when, you know, your teammates don't block for you? I mean, the, 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 your, your opponent doesn't even have to do any work because your own team is self-destructing because of the lack of cohesion. Yeah. So, so, the, so the things that he did to try to get his team, you know, to, to care about each other in, in, a, in a hard time, and that's, and that's a true story because T.C. Wilson High School is not too far from where I live. I'm in Maryland, and um, you know, Virginia, it's right across the river in Virginia. In fact, Coach Boone, the real one, just died last December. So this is this is a real story. It wasn't Hollywood. And so, can you? So if you remember when he took them to Gettysburg, and you know, kind of tried to get them to think, okay, this is this is hallowed ground, hallowed ground where people died, and you know, soldiers, you know, fighting each other. And when he put, a, put the two, you know, two biggest enemies in the room together um, and they couldn't come out until they learned something about the other, right? They had this little checklist they had to learn about it. And so then they grew to be, become, you know, uh, like brothers. And so that's how you develop a team. So people feel, well, if I don't really feel it, then I'm, I'm faking it. No, you can learn. You can learn about your soldiers. You can learn about your people. And when they know that you care about them, I mean, truly care about them, not just, you know, okay, yeah, you're on my team, one, two, three, four, five, you can come with me. If you know who they are, know what their concerns are, know if there are any family issues that they have, know if they're, you know, they're kind of the great hope from their family. They're the first ones to make it out of a neighborhood and everyone's depending upon them. And so there's a lot of pressure on them. And, you know, how can you help them with that? And, you know, things that you need to do um, because everybody calls them because they're the one that knows what's going on in the family. You have, you know, I've had soldiers like that. You, they're, they're, pulling a full load at work and then they everybody at home they're the they're the kind of and they're young 19 20 years old and they're the ones that are the the ones that everybody goes to for problems and so there's a lot on their shoulders you don't know that unless you talk to them right and um so i think build, build, building a winning team is getting to know people and if they know you care about them they'll be willing to do whatever they can to you know to to do that so care about them develop them too so help them be successful in whatever jobs that they are and, and, and model that behavior yourself as a leader.